Hello everybody and welcome to the the revival of the Yoshi Engine tutorials. Today uh, we're going to be covering how to add in a GF skin into the Yoshi Engine. So to start off, um, if you go on Game Banana here, you can usually find something. I usually search up over GF or girlfriend, and you get tons of GF skins. This one that I like to use is Sarvente over GF, uh, made by Amazing Gin. I will for sure link this down in the description. It's an incredible skin. I love it so much. Um, and yes, I'm a massive Sarvente simp, so just don't worry about it. <laughs> Basically, what you're going to do after that is you're going to see... You're going to get a file, and all you're going to want to do is extract that file, which I have already done. And basically, once we get here, we can start on the fun stuff. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to whatever your Yoshi Engine is. In this case, we're going to be using my Yoshi Engine. And we're going to be going to the Skins folder. Go into the Skins folder. Then you see a few folders here, and we're going to cover Notes and BF Skins another day. Uh, for today, it's just GF skins, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on GF, and you're going to see that there's going to be a template folder here. And what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to click that template folder, you're going to want to click Control c on your keyboard, followed by Control v And what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to right-click on it, and then go down to Rename and rename it to whatever you want that skin to be called. In my case, I'm going to call mine Sarf, since it's Sarvente. Click on it, and now you can see these three things open up. Notice how these are both called Sprite Sheet. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back into our Sarf folder, in which I like to have a subfolder that I just open up right here. Oops. Uh, hold on here. There we go. And as you can see, we've got a subfolder here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click this one and we're going to shift and then click the GF assets.xml. And what you're going to do now is you're going to right click and you're going to rename them and you're going to rename them to sprite sheet as it shows right here. You don't want to do anything else to these, okay? Just just do that. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag them straight in and what it's going to prompt you with is a replace the files in this destination and what you're going to want to do is click yes. Once it does that, you're going to see that. You can also change the icon, however you have to make sure it's this size, otherwise you have to do some funny stuff inside the next folder that we're going to look at, the character.hx. Now previously, if you're using older Yoshi Engine, you have to go in here and you have to change your paths to it, but now it works. So if you have any animations, so let's just very quickly, since I've already tested this ahead of time, I know it works, but if you click on your sprite sheet here, you can see all of the animations. And depending on what your animations are called, your GF might not work. So if you go here, you can change all of your XML animations here. Turn off restricted mode quickly. There we go. You can change all of your GF animations here and here for example but all of mine I know are correct so what you can do there is you can do that you can also change your ind indices uh, which will change the frames that your GF is animating on and you can also add some colors for her notes and stuff so it's very cool it's uh, very nice and you can also do some hair blowing stuff and other stuff as well so Everything in here, it's a fully customizable script. It runs every single time. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Save on that, and we're going to go back to our files. Once we get back here, we're going to click on our Yoshi Engine again, and we're going to click on Yoshi Engine.exe. And that's basically it. If I full screen this, we're going to jump over here. And you guys will see the Yoshi Engine opens up. We click enter to begin. And how you're going to go about uh, getting the skin working is all that you're going to do oh, is you're going to click on options. You're going to click go down to customization. And we're going to go down to boyfriend arrow skin and girlfriend skin. Once you get down to girlfriend skin, all that you're going to do is you're just going to 
enter to change. So we can change this to sarv. As you can see, it was already there because I had tested it previously. But now what we can do is we can go into free play or literally any song in the entire game. Click enter and watch the magic. Boom, she's there and she animates. This works for literally anything. You can replace a GF over anything. So for mods, this is incredibly useful since it already uh, has their offsets already in there. If you need to change offsets, you can obviously do that as well. There's just tons that you can do with this. So with that, that brings an end to uh, the GF skins tutorial. I hope that you guys have enjoyed and consider subscribing consider following me on other platforms you know the self plug stuff that everybody does uh and if you have any problems feel free to dm me on discord i'm always here to help and yeah with that have a great day bye bye